Hi there, I'm Michelle the Painter. Today I'm going to be doing a fun art experience. That's why I'm on the other side of my canvas today. <laughs> today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be painting with my non-dominant hand, which is going to be my left hand. I'm going to be recreating one of my own paintings, which is Dandelion Fairy Dance. It was voted on and challenged to me by my Patreon membership um, members, and I'm really excited to do this today. I think that all art experiences, regardless of what they are, if you kind of step outside of your normal box a little bit, you can discover and learn a whole bunch of new things about yourself this, in this particular challenge. This one, I think, is one that is great for one exploring your other side of your brain. <laughs> it can help you loosen up your own painting type of style or take the pressure off of yourself to be perfect with everything that you do with your dominant hand. Um, for me, I think that you might be able to discover that maybe your non-dominant hand helps you blend better or maybe you do detail work better with your non-dominant hand. So it's just another exploration into your art making skills. So I hope that by watching this, you might be inspired to do something outside of your current art box and <laughs> go experience other fun ways to be creative. So I hope you enjoy this fun video. <laughs> I am going to be going pretty much step by step with how I did the first one, but I'm most likely going to be much more loosey-goosey with it because I'm using my wrong hand or my non-dominant hand. I'm working with the same materials. I've got a 16 by 20 inch canvas, same um, style and type of brushes. I've got a, a bristle brush and a couple of round brushes that um, are similar to the ones that I did in the first uh, video. This is so weird me like showing you my materials from the wrong side. My colors, I'm using acrylic paint, uh, titanium white, Mars black, burnt umber, deep yellow, green oxide, and cobalt blue. And I did mix my first color that I'm going to be using for my background, um, this soft blue color. I mixed that with white, black, blue, and brown. So that's where I'm going to start because in the first um, in, in the original painting, the background is a gradient. It's lighter at the top. It's got the blue in the middle and then a little bit dark at the bottom. So here we go. I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to be using my custom blue with some of that white at the top. Oh, it already feels super weird. <laughs> I'm gonna, oh, this is going to be fun. Okay, so I'm going to just go left to right and create my light area up at the top. I think I want it to go lighter than that. So I just picked up more white. And I might even go lighter than that. Oh my God, this feels so weird. <laughs> but this is, these are the things that just make creating art really, I feel so awkward, <laughs> make uh, creating art just super fun and um, something that will, <laughs> I, I must even look awkward. But okay, I'm going to slow down. I'm going to slow down and just go back and forth, left to right. Like I would be teaching somebody who never painted before. So that's a good thought. Just in your head, pretend like this is the first time you're painting because I got to tell you, it really feels like this is the first time <laughs> I'm painting. Okay, so I'm about halfway. I think I'm going to pick up some of the, uh, just the custom blue so I can get a little bit darker. Oh my God, this is so weird. <laughs> and then I'm going to just go left to right and create this gradient. I, I look at how I'm holding my brush. It's it's I feel like I that's the only way I can hold it right now to make it do the way that I make it do what I want it to do. But this is fun. This is like just gonna teach me, you know, what I can and cannot do with this with this hand. So I'm gonna bring this down pretty far and then the original painting looks like it gets darker down at the bottom. Oh my god. I almost feel like my my like this is an out of body kind of experience it's just so different and even looking at the canvas from this angle is super different this i think would also help people um who sit in a chair when they paint i think a lot of people when they sit in a chair when they paint they tend to make their painting crooked um and i think if you have the ability to paint with both hands that might help you to um correct that crookedness. I'm going to pick up some of my black paint now to get some darkness down at the bottom. 
which is what I'm seeing in the original painting and just kind of getting this to blend up a little bit. Wow, this is so fun and <laughs> so weird. So once I've got this done, okay, let's get that blended in. Maybe a little bit more black down here. Once I've got this blended in, it looks like I'm gonna have to um, probably dry my canvas in order to, because the next step is um, putting the base coat for the, for the flower on. So I think that's good like that. And I'm going to dry my canvas, so it's probably going to be an annoying noise. <laughs> okay, so I think I got it dry enough where I need to. So now I think I'm supposed to be doing the, I just wanted to pick it up with my <laughs> correct hand, um, the main base coat of my dandelion stem. So I think I need to find myself about the center of my canvas and then come over a little bit and down a little bit, somewhere in through here, and then it goes down to the left bottom corner. Oh my God, this is gonna be so weird. <laughs> I gotta, let's see, we're gonna go like this, go up, and then down like this. Oh my gosh. All right, so this is, this is how it's gonna go. We're gonna just not be perfect. Okay, I'm gonna just not, um, Put the stress on myself to be perfect not that i ever do that but i'm just going to let it happen whatever's going to happen this is going to be a very fun dandelion um dance and maybe even the dandelion stem is going to dance as well <laughs> so something like that all right and then i think um it looks like i should be maybe creating the center part in through here with some dots or just a ball type of a shape. Oh my God, this is so fun. <laughs> and then I need to, okay, so these are gonna be my, well, let's put a little water on my brush. A little water on my brush, cause that's what I'd be doing with my other hand. And it looks like I have, let's see, this is quarter way, maybe these little things shooting out of my, center of my flower something like this oh this is it feels so weird to do this i can't wait till i get to the um to the little fairies dancing i can't wait to see how that's going to happen <laughs> that's going to be quite the quite the challenge but let me just make sure i've got enough of these guys so just having fun allowing for myself to not make this perfect or not put the pressure on myself to make it perfect because this is just a fun exercise to see what I can and cannot do with this side of my brain, with this side of my hand. Um, and you can see it's already pretty wonkety, but we're just gonna keep rolling and, <laughs> and have fun with it. So once I get that, I think what I'm supposed to be doing for the next step, I'm just kind of thin this out a little bit is um, putting my highlight on my, on my stem. So I'm gonna wash my brush with my non dominant <laughs> I keep wanting, I should have probably tied this hand behind my back because I keep wanting to switch hands with my, um, with my brush and stuff and things are going everywhere down here on my palette. Okay, so I can dry it though with my dominant hand. So I think I'm supposed to be adding um, my highlight to that stem. So it's hopefully it's dry enough. If not, we're just gonna roll with it. So I think I'm gonna use my yellow, green, and white. So white, a little yellow, and a little green. <laughs> it looks like it's a pretty dominant highlight up here on the top. Oh, this is too much. I'm like scared to touch my canvas because <laughs> I. This is where um, this is where your um, your hand and your brain are gonna have. For me, they are so having a disconnect right now because my my brain is like, slow down, do it perfect, and my hand is like, I just gotta go fast because it's gonna. It, the slower I go, the more it's gonna shake, the more it's gonna be not right okay well that looks okay let's just blend this down here 
like this. Yeah, I'm going through some wet black, which is totally fine for me. I can deal with that because that's going to make it look like I've blended it and blended it on purpose and like I was supposed to. So there we go. That's going to be a nice highlight for me. There we go. We got highlight. Okay. So highlight. Oh, man, I think, it, uh, see, I just switched hands. I think, it, I think I want a little more highlight on this top right in through here. Oh, this is, how, this is so hard to do this. And I'm, I'm using so much paint where normally I don't use this much paint. Normally I'm like very little bit of paint on my brush. But for some reason, I feel that if I lay the paint on <laughs> heavier, it's going to work better for some reason. I don't, know, I don't know why my brain's telling my hand to do this, but whatever I'm doing, we're just going to roll with it. Okay, so that's going to that's gonna work out from... Oops, I'm washing it with the wrong hand. Let's see, what next? I think um, I can put highlights on this little middle part. And it looks like it's with brown and white. So I'm going to go... Uh, brown and white on my brush at the same time and we've got some little kind of polka dotty things in here so we're gonna put those on and I'm just dotting and having fun <laughs> and then I have brown and white for some little um, additional pieces in through here so these just look like oh gosh I can't I can't make skinny lines. I'm so nervous for going um, into the the little fairies. If I can't do, I can't. What what I'm finding is I can't control the pressure into the canvas. Whereas with my dominant hand, I am way better at that. So this is very difficult <laughs> to to tell my hand don't push hard. So I'm just going to, maybe if I try and go away from the canvas a little bit. Oops, I screwed up my little polka dot -y things. Okay. Oh, and I'm noticing when I'm doing my polka dots with this hand that this hand's doing this <laughs> off camera, which you guys can't see, but I can feel. All right, that's looking good to me. Or good enough, I should say. All right, so what next? I think next time it looks like I could switch to my large brush and do... Uh, maybe the first layer of my um, flowers in the grass. So, washing my brush, I'm going to do... Oh, it looks like I might have... Hold on. Looks like I need to do something else into here before I, before I call that step. So I'm going to pick up some more. I'm going to pick up some black and brown. Looks like there is around these edges that there was some kind of... Um, like the bottom part to the um, little fluffy thing that comes off. So I think that there's some of those in there. So we're just going to kind of do this. This is black and brown on my brush. And then there looks like there's the, um, the floaty pieces. But I think I want to put those on later because that looks like they're going to be on top of the the other flowers. Okay, so first layer of the fluffy flowers in the grass. I'm going to use some brown. Oops, look at what I just did. <laughs> I totally, without even realizing it, switched hands. I should have tied this hand behind my back. Okay, so black with, I mean brown with a little bit of white. So this is going to be like a tan type of color and very little bit on my brush. Um, let's see, we're going to do... Um, I think I, will, I need that to dry for a minute. So I'm going to, looks like there's a whole bunch of like soft um, little fluffy ones down in through here. So this is just brown and white. I'm probably going to um, <laughs> screw this off. <laughs> just these, these are going to be the first layer of the, uh, I can't tell you how much my other hand is like tapping along with my dominant hand. It's such a weird feeling I've got right now. So there looks like there's a whole bunch of small, um, out of focus kind of um, flowers in the distance, but we, but it looks like I started them with these kind of mass areas and they get they're big down here and then they get smaller as they go far away 
Um, looks like there's one up and through here somewhere. And of course you don't have to put them exactly where I am. I'm just trying to see if I can emulate that original um, painting a little bit and see what kind of success or failure I'm gonna have. Ooh, I just went in some of my black, okay on my stem that was still wet. Okay, so then I'm gonna put some of this also, looks like I should have some of this in through here. So again, making sure that it is um, brown and, and white, so it's like a tan type of a color. <laughs> I can't do this, this is so weird. And it also looks like there's gonna be an opening in through here where they fly out, so I'm just gonna make sure that I do that. And uh, this, this tan color that I'm using for the first layer here is going to um, provide that dimensional kind of element. But I'm not really concerned about <laughs> dimension on this one. I'm just trying to make it look something like a flower. <laughs> so we're going to bring this down pretty far. Oh my god, this is so fun. So again, brown plus white, I think, is where I'm headed for this base coat in my flower with not a lot on my brush and it looks like there's also come some like little um, floofy parts on the edges but I think I can do that more with the white later when I add the, uh, the uh, brighter layer onto this so I think that looks pretty good maybe just dot it a little bit more in through here okay so I think now I am on to uh, grass making I think grass making with my number six round. So grass making looks like it's going to be black, green, yellow, and white. Maybe some brown. Okay. Dark at the bottom, lighter at the top, in between my flowers. Again, I'm gonna I'm gonna have some fluff on the edges, but we're not really concerned about perfect here. So I'm going with a little bit of black and green to start. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and here we go. I'm just going to bring a whole bunch, okay, this is going to be fun, a little bit of black and green in between here. Oh, I just ran through some wet blue from my first, from my first step. Uh, black and green. I'm just putting some in between these flowers or on top of them. <laughs> oh my gosh. It is, this is a a super fun exercise. I can't, I'm, I'm really having fun. The, as I go up, I'm going to try and make them smaller, which is less pressure on my brush, something like this. I'll put some green or some brighter ones, green, yellow, and white in a minute, but right now I'm just black and um, green with a little bit of water on my brush because I knew that um, I'm going to need that, that uh, um, assistance for the, for the pulling of the paint um, to get it to be smooth, and that's where the, the water will help me out a little bit. I'm going to put them in front of the stem, behind the stem, whatever works for you. I, and then I'm just going to kind of keep adding to these, maybe with a little bit more water on my brush. <laughs> Oops, that one looks a little bit too big. Oh my God, this is, it, I just feel so awkward. I feel like I've never painted before. <laughs> and it's like my, my hand is just doing, you can see it's making all these little wiggle marks that I've never made before. So. My left hand has a much more artistic style to it, apparently. I'm going to put some in through here. It's okay if you hit the, oh my god, these wiggle marks I can't get over because they are so not me. This is going to definitely look like somebody else painting it. Because I, I don't want to like, um, it, my, my hand doesn't want to go straight. It doesn't want to make straight little pieces of grass. It wants to make these wild, carefree um, curly ones, I guess. <laughs> I'm going to put some bigger pieces in this front here with some green and black. And then um, once I have those, then I will probably, I'm pushing harder now so I can get some bigger ones in this front. Um, once I have these, I will put some lighter pieces. There we go. That's, that's looking good enough to me. I'm not going to wash my brush. I'm picking up uh, yellow, green, and a little bit of white. Okay, wish me luck on these ones. <laughs> Oh my God, because I know that they're going to be more bold. Oh gosh, I can't start them where I want to start them. They, they just, I have no pressure control right now. There's none. It's just whatever happens, happens. <laughs> Green, yellow, and white. I'm making these um, 
these brighter, more dominant ones in the front so they look like they're more um, in focus. So I'm still using the whole same thought process that I would have um, with my with my dominant hand. <laughs> Only now it looks like I'm very um, energetic and freestyling and and I don't know carefree. I think that's the 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 lesson I'm taking from this is both of my hands work way differently from each other, and this left hand of mine seems to really like to just wiggle a lot and be very carefree and doesn't know when to hit the 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 canvas and when not to hit the canvas so I'm just having fun um, I have a little bit more on my brush right now <laughs> I can't make straight lines that's for sure and I can't make the little delicate ones off in the in the distance that's for sure so we're just gonna roll with whatever happens happens maybe a little bit more in through here maybe I can make them just a little bit smaller as I'm running out of paint, I'll go um, back towards these ones back here. Maybe that'll make them look smaller, but I don't certainly don't have the control that I would normally. Okay, so I'm going to call it on the grass making. Um, I think my next step, oh, I'm scared about this step. I got to make the um, base coats for the, for the fairies. So... You're going to just have to wish me luck here. <laughs> I'm going to use black paint with some water on my brush, making it like an ink consistency. Whew, take a deep breath. Okay, so I've got three figures I'm doing here. One of them is going to be here. Okay, so we're going to make a little stick figure first. Oh, God, can you tell I'm scared? <laughs> All right, I'm doing it. I'm going in. So I've got, oh gosh, wish me luck. Here's, oh no. Here's one leg. Okay, the other leg should be about the same distance. Oh my God, look at my hand shake. Okay, totally don't have a good steady hand on this side. Well, I don't have a steady hand on the other side, so this is kind of amplifying it on this side. Okay, so this is up here a little bit and then we're gonna just we're start I'm gonna just start with stick figures but if I can oh my gosh okay we're going in we're going in okay and then let's see what's the next one uh, her torso so if that's that her torso goes up just a little bit okay Oof, here we go <laughs> we'll make this we'll make it look like some kind of figure whether or not it's a real looking figure or not that's going to be a whole nother a whole nother story so if this is kind of her waist um this is kind of her neck okay then we've got all right let's go with my with my thought here we've got her thigh kind of coming down to her knee and then her calf uh, she's going to be muscular and then her little foot okay her little foot somewhere in here oh my god this is too funny all right and then we've got her butt oh I just put my hand in wet pants it's okay we've got her butt on that side <laughs> like that oh she's got a bumpy butt we can we can hide it with um her dress uh, her, th her thigh, oh my gosh, is going to be somewhere into there. Her calf, oh, is going to be, wow, is a, somewhere into here. And then her little foot, somewhere into there. Okay, <laughs> now she needs a torso. Okay, so if this is her waist, oh boy. Um, so that was her butt, right? It's her butt going into her thigh. Okay, so let's color in this. Ooh, that needs to be. Okay, she's gonna have a very pretty skirt, I can tell you that. <laughs> um, okay, so that's her that's her collarbone, so maybe we'll give her chest there, and that's her waist. Okay. Okay, we got this. Like that. 
Oh, she's got a she's got an Audi belly button right now, though. Let's let's make her not have an Audi belly button. Uh, oh gosh, oh gosh! I wish I could put my canvas in a different position right now. Okay, let's let's do that, and let's get rid of some. Of, there we go. Okay, got rid of the Audi belly button. Now I need a head. Okay, good. We got a head. We're gonna put a head somewhere in here. Oh, and I'm supposed to do facial expressions too. <laughs> a little nose. Okay. Oh, she's going to have fun here. Okay. That's not even close to a head. So we're going to, um, oh my God. I can't tell you how difficult this is right now. We're going to make a little bun coming off of her head. I need a little, um, forehead. Oh, she's going to have like, uh, Fred Flintstone Wilma hair. Okay. Oh, and a big nose, big nose. It's okay. We'll just make her forehead bigger. That makes the nose look smaller. There we go. There we go. And a little mouth. <laughs> sure. That looks like a, a little fairy. There we go. All right. Let's, let's make her have a shoulder and an arm. Her arm is going to come out somewhere in through here. Sure. There we go. Oh, sure. Her back needs to be thicker, obviously. Let's go with a little thicker back. Okay. Okay. I think that might be, I might call it on that one. Oh, I need to fix that nose a little bit. She needs a nose job. All right. Her head's just going to keep getting bigger. And bigger. Okay. Okay. I can deal with that. <laughs> All right. On to number two. Oh, number two looks much taller than number one does. She looks like she's taking up um, she's closer to the viewer. Okay, so her waist is or her waist is somewhere in through here. So I'm just going to draw a straight line from here down to the bottom uh, or to my. Oops, that's not very straight. To here, and then her torso goes to about this head, and it's a little bit. Oh, actually, I could go all the way up to her head because it goes a little bit higher than here. So we're going to go at a little bit of an angle. Oh my gosh. Something like that. <laughs> all right. All right. And we got a knee. We're going to take, this is going to be my stick finger. It's going to go, this is going to be her wowza. Her knee is going to come out to about here. And then she's going to have her leg coming down to off here. <laughs> this is fun. And then let's see. Okay, so that's that kind of starts me out. We've got um, her her bum into her thigh like this, into her knee. Here's her calf, and then her little foot is somewhere here. Oh, we got to fix that front part of that leg though. Let's just kind of round this out. I didn't. I knew that this was going to be hard. I wasn't quite sure it was going to be this hard, though. Um, but you know, these are the fun things that help us to expand our horizons. I think I want to. There we go. And then her other leg is going to be. We're going to call that the front, and the knees right about there. So we're going to put her <laughs> her thigh in through here. Her knee there, her calf here, uh, something like that. <laughs> Sorry, lady, you got a big calf now. And her, oh my gosh, and her foot is gonna grow. Maybe we need to put shoes on her or something. Okay, she's gonna have a. Oh man, I'm sorry, girl. You've got a a big foot and a broken ankle apparently. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> Don't like that. She's gonna have a nice skirt too. Let's um, let's widen this like that. Okay. All right. Sorry about your foot. You've got a big foot. Maybe we can do that. Okay. It's going to look like you have a, like a boot on. Okay. Now I'm going to go for her torso. Yay. So somewhere about here, I think is where I'm going to put her neck and she's going to have, let's see her chest going into her belly. And then she's got her arm is way up. And we need to round out that shoulder into the back. Okay. Oof. 
belly needs to be bigger. There we go. Okay, I need a head. <laughs> Our head is up a little bit higher, so we're just gonna kind of make an oval type of shape with that neck. Excellent. Okay, oops. I can't control the little tip at all. So these small details are killing me. A little bun for the top of her head or a big bun. She's got a messy bun. <laughs> and then she's going to have maybe a little forehead hair. Forehead. And then we're going to give her a little nose. Maybe a little nose. And then a little chin or a beard. There we go. Oh my God. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to give you a beard. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right. No beard. Okay, how do I get rid of the beard? All right, we're gonna. Oh, sorry. Oh, now you've got like. Okay, oh my gosh. I'm just making it worse. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, let's. Let's. Um, I wish I had an eraser right now. Oh no, now you look like a bird. Oh god. Uh, okay, I might have to call it on her because it's just getting worse and worse. Okay, pay no attention to her face <laughs> or her little arm. Hold on, we need a bigger arm. <laughs> I think her, her arm needs to come up. She's really in a in a nice dancing pose. Maybe we can make the arm um, distract us from. Oh gosh. Oh boy, look at that big arm. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, we're gonna hide it with a wing. <laughs> okay, let's go on to figure number three. Figure number three is all floating so delicately in the distance over here. I'm just gonna make a curved line and, and pray that I can do something that's gonna make a little bit of a sense. So I'm gonna, oh my gosh. This is gonna be my hard part. I can, I obviously can tell that I am not good at the little details. The blending, I felt like I was fine. Like, I had fun with the grass. I embraced all of those um, little challenges, but these people, they are definitely causing me um, some um, difficulty. I guess that would be the right word. Okay, so there's gonna be her legs. She's got a thigh, okay. Thigh down to the big knee. And now she's gonna have a calf and a broken leg. <laughs> a calf and then a little foot, okay? And then the other one's gonna have a her bum and then her thigh. Oh gosh. And then her calf and then her little foot, okay? Those ones aren't too bad. And now I need um, her torso and we're gonna call it right about here. And she's got, uh, it's kinda kinda going skinny into her waist because she's kinda leaning back a little bit, it appears. Okay, okay, well she's gonna have a bigger leg, there we go. And um, she's got her head back a little bit, so I'm gonna, gonna consider that to be her face. So we're gonna do this with her oval shape and then I'm going to try and make some little features pop out of this. <laughs> so we're going to put her nose, maybe I should have opted for a smaller brush. Oh, that's a wave, that's too big, that's too tall for her nose. Oh no. Okay. So, all right, she's going to have her head way up looking in the sky. So there's her nose right there. There's her little mouth. There's her chin. Oh boy, her head is way too big. So let's make some of this into hair. So we've got some flowy hair. <laughs> that doesn't look like hair at all. Boy, I'm so glad that there's wings coming. Let's make, let's make that. Okay, wow, she's, she's got a large, um, a large head. Okay, lots of hair. Maybe we're gonna and I just keep making it bigger and bigger, which is excellent. So let's, let's, um, let's not make her too, 
top of her too big. I was excited about the legs. I'm like, yeah, legs are doing good, but not not so much for the. Okay, now I got to make arms that look like. Uh, oh gosh, what am I doing? <laughs> okay, so that one's gonna go there, and then we're gonna just do that, and then we're gonna make the other one come out here, and do that. And oh my God. All right, so lots of, um, lots of, maybe if I make her rear end look bigger, or this back part, maybe that'll, oh, God. Okay, she's going to have a big dress. That's, that's, there's no fooling with that one. Okay, so um, what next? <laughs> now I'm going to go and I'm going to do the um, second layer to my, my um, lovely fairies, which is going to be their wings. <laughs> <laughs> and their dresses and any little details that I want. So um, I'm hoping this is going to help like hide some of these <laughs> pretty, uh, these, these funny aspects that I've got. So just black with a little bit of water in my brush is where I'm going to start with these wings. Okay, wings. Help me, wings. <laughs> We're going to bring it out from the back. Okay, oh, okay, well, she's going to be flying high, I guess. <laughs> All right, so that's going to be that one, and it's going to come out. Oh, my God, look how huge this wing is. Oh, this is too fun. Okay, and then the second one is going to be what's kind of, oh, my gosh, I can't even do it. This is too fun, too fun, like that. Okay, those are those wings. I've got some coming out her back and through here, so we're just going to have fun with whoosh, making these these little fun Oops, that one's too big. That's okay. <laughs> Everything's too big here. And we're going to just um, bring this to her back. Bring it to her back. While that's dry, and I'm going to go put the... Um, well, I guess I could put where I want the skirt to go to, right? <laughs> Everywhere. Let's just hide her whole body with the skirt. I think I'm going to have it kind of coming off here. And then wrapping around and flying out like that and then it's going to come over her okay all right hide everything with these skirts and the wings okay here we go we're, we're going to hide this whole arm i think with this wing this oh this is a big one okay up and through there and this one only i can only see i don't have the double um wings like i did on the other side like that i suppose you could put them whatever you want to do okay just have fun. That's what this is all about. Uh, let's see here. All right. Where's this skirt going? This skirt should totally cover the whole thing. <laughs> let's, let's pull it down from the back in through here. And I, I, it looks like I'm just kind of giving myself these outlines right now to where, oops, I just picked up some white paint, to where I want these, um, these pieces of clothing or the wings to go. Um, let's see, this can be over here, and in the original painting, they're pretty transparent, so I'll be adding some, um, some additional stuff to them, but I'm just kind of starting. I'm totally hiding this head with this wing here, so we're gonna, we're gonna just hide away. We're gonna go like this, <laughs> and then maybe nobody will notice how huge I made her head, and then something like that. And then I've got this other one coming in through here. And then I've got this bottom one. Um, and again, pay no attention to the big um, humongo head. We're gonna, we're gonna try and hide that, <laughs> the big head and the tiny body. Um, and I don't even know what the proportion on the arms is. And then I'm just gonna have fun with making this wing in through here. And then I've got the skirt. And again, make your skirts or the clothing, just kind of hide things if you want. It's all about enjoying the process, especially on something that you can't control. A lot of times I love using materials and tools that I can't control because they provide me with that, that kind of authentic, um, natural type of appearance, organic appearance. Um, I'm going to start doing these, uh, the, the clothing. So it looks like I'm using, I'm going to be using some white, um, black, and water. 
to create um, maybe even some brown too, just to create this transparent color for, or this transparent kind of layer for these um, wings. Uh, but I love using uh, different materials and tools because, again, it provides me with that um, so so many benefits that I wouldn't naturally have thought about if I just stuck to whatever I was comfortable with. So I think when experimenting and learning to create art, we we typically, at least for me, when I started creating art, it was it was for a, a, a therapeutic purpose. And I think a lot of people start it for that reason, but get lost in the in the process making in you know trying to make it perfect. I got to put some highlights on her head too, um, but I might do that in a minute. Um, so for me, bringing back the fun and um, experimenting really helps to keep me in that place of discovery, that place of contentment, that place of pleasure. So by doing these type of exercises, yeah, I might learn something and I might discover something new about myself, but I'm also finding a way to continue to enjoy the process. Like this skirt right here, I'm just, I'm just having fun. I don't, I don't, you know, I don't need it to look exactly like that original painting. It's certainly not going to. I'm putting some highlights on the head just to give myself, maybe disguise that little face a little bit. <laughs> something like that and then um, I'm going to just keep doing this to all of them so this is brown black white water um, just kind of going over um, those wings and the clothing to provide this little bit of an airiness to it um, and like this hand in here <laughs> we're gonna pretend like um, that didn't happen and I'm just gonna kind of disguise it a little bit with this wing so maybe it's in front, maybe it's behind, maybe it's just disguised within it. So you can, you know, if something like that goes wrong, it's bound to if you're using your non-dominant hand, right? And her face too. I mean, that's just not proportionate. So I'm just going to, maybe we'll hide that with a little bit of a um, little highlight or something. So maybe I'll just give her some more bangs and maybe we'll just let somebody look at her head before they or just put a little light spot on her nose oh <laughs> just totally covered her whole face i don't know what i'm going to do with her face i to be honest with you maybe maybe we'll just add more there we go just add more hair or something there we go we've disguised it well enough i think and then her her dress of course just adding these light little marks and maybe kind of coming down here again black white brown a little bit of water allowing for this airiness this is going to drape over her leg see I can tell you though even though I'm still screwing up a whole bunch I'm getting more comfortable I'm getting more comfortable with the way um to move my brush it, it I'm I'm not um it's not feeling as awkward anymore so again it's just an exercise to you know, maybe discover something that you didn't, you didn't know you would like, or you, you know, I, I'm not going to really do much with her leg because I don't think there's much I can do. <laughs> I can put a little shadow underneath her. I'm going to pick up some black and put a little shadow under, on, on the stem. I'll give that a little shadow and pick up a little black, put a little shadow underneath this foot. There we go. Oops, that shouldn't have gone outside that. That's okay. I just need to add some highlights to the other fairy and then i think we're on to some some much funner stuff <laughs> this was this was definitely a tough part of the painting for me the other stuff i it was tough but i was having i, I think a little bit more fun um with it this uh these wings are definitely or the the whole fairies are definitely very challenging for me but again like i said i'm feeling more comfortable i'm feeling like um I'm holding the brush with more confidence, and I think that would happen too if I was kind of, um, you know, taking my time doing this. But again, I'm 
I'm just letting myself be free and fun and not um, worrying about the pressure of making it perfect. Um, I can totally just add a little bit of highlight on her face. Uh, her arms, I'm going to just kind of add a little bit of gray, whatever's on my brush, and then I'm going to go ahead and add these. Um, this lightness to her skirt in through here. <laughs> and it could be airy, it could be totally transparent, or you could cover up her whole body like I'm kind of doing because I screwed it up so bad. So you can really, you know, make it, I mean, I got to cover up more of that head. I'm telling you, this is just not, that's not a very pretty fairy head. So we're going to just, oh, look at that, it goes away. <laughs> So you can, yes, that's that's much better. So before, I'm going to now um, put the little dandelion stems on. So washing my brush, and I'm going to pick up some black paint, um, maybe, again, with a little bit of water in it, black with a little bit of water. And so that it looks, looks, looks like the dandelion stems are going to be kind of like a skinny piece like this, and then bump it out if you can <laughs> something like that and then we'll put a little fluffy piece on the end this fairy is holding one of them so I guess I just need to get it to land in her hand it sounds much easier than it's gonna be <laughs> so we're gonna start okay wish me luck start up here oh this isn't gonna work you know how bad I want to switch hands right now with my cuz I okay just go for it stop talking just oh, okay it's gonna be a big one we're gonna go Oh, I hit her hands. There we go. <laughs> it's a ginormous t uh, fair, uh, dandelion stem. Okay. <laughs> oh, maybe I'll make it look thinner when I uh, add the little details. We're going to put one kind of going off the... Oh, that's not good. It just looks like a black line. There we go. Okay. <laughs> These are big dandelion stems. Okay, we're going to put another one in through here. I want them to look like they're kind of delicately floating. I'm not doing anything delicately with my left hand. I can tell you that. And it's a little poofier down at the bottom here. Oh my god. I just can't do it. And then I got another one. I got one more coming out of here. Okay, I got this. I got this. It's going to be okay, like that. And then uh, <laughs> like this. I can't do them skinny. Okay, no worries. No worries. It's just painting. We're here to have fun. All right, I am um, now going to, what am I doing next? I think I need to put little highlights on these guys. So washing my brush. I'm going to pick up a little bit of brown and white. So brown and white. And just to add these little highlights on these and maybe it'll make them look smaller. <laughs> if I could, if, oh my god, I can't do this. Okay, brown and white. Brown and white. Just, just, line it. Uh, there we go. And then a little bubble, little part on the bottom. There we go. It's not making it look any smaller, but at least it's giving it a little bit of dimension. <laughs> One right there. And I'm totally going through bl wet black paint. I don't care. I'm just allowing it to uh, give me this highlight. I'm kind of surprised at how much my hand is shaking right now that I'm actually like landing on these guys. <laughs> it's very difficult. But this, it's, the highlight seems to be making it look a little better. At least I'm, that's what I'm telling myself. Okay, so that looks pretty good, right? <laughs> Agree with me, please. Um, but I feel like I just want a little bit more white on these guys, on these wings, to maybe get the attention off of the um, figures being as out of proportion as they are. So a little bit more white, maybe just a couple of little fun highlights. Just popping those in, just giving myself just a little extra boost of delicate brightness. <laughs> we'll, again, steer the attention away from the awkward proportions I have. And now I'm going to switch brushes to my large brush to put my final fluff on my uh, dandelion flowers. So I think this is going to be mostly with white, possibly with a, uh, maybe a little bit of brown too. Uh, but mostly with white. If I can find some clean white here, I'm going to just kind of move it over to a safe spot on my palette. <laughs> and I'm going to start with um, white with just a touch of brown. <laughs> and I'm going to start um, 
where will I start? I think I'm going to start in the, the big guy. No, because that's wet. So let's start down here. So I'm not using a lot of paint on my brush, and I, I'm just going to kind of tap this to give this, <laughs> tap it with both hands apparently, <laughs> to give it this um, fluff on the top primarily on these and more so on these front ones than on the back ones because I think this is going to make it look like it's got more um, dimension to it and this is also allowing these little guys to look like they're in front of those pieces of grass so as I'm running out of paint I'm just going back to these back ones um, again white plus a little bit of the brown just to add this uh, additional texture. I will come back with a, a tiny bit of white as well to add just an extra bit of pop. So this is going to be um, a little bit of a two, two, um, two time pass. <laughs> I don't, know how to, don't know how else to say it, but I'm very lightly just kind of tapping these guys just lightly. And then same thing with this guy in through here, just lightly tapping it because I don't want to cover up all the, the paint that I did on the first layer. And again, this looks like I can probably flick out some um, like almost little hairy pieces around the edges. So I'm going to do that too uh, with a little bit of white and a touch of that brown. Okay, so we're gonna flick out. Oh yeah, okay, here we go. Look at that, <laughs> we're flicking, we're flicking. So I'm just kind of pulling it out. Again, I'm just trying to emulate what I'm seeing in the picture, which is difficult using this wrong hand here, trying to control my quantity of paint. My pressure is off the charts. I, I don't have control over that. So we're just gonna do whatever we can. And now I'm gonna pick up a little bit of white and just pop on uh, that extra bright highlight. Maybe not at the super tippy top of it, but maybe. So again, I'm using all of my, the, the, the thoughts that I would normally use when creating the painting, but by using this left or my non-dominant hand, I am making, you know, finding myself just okay with things I wouldn't normally be okay with. Um, and I think that's part of the process. I think it's part of, you know, discovering where your limitations are and what, what you know, abilities that you might have that you didn't realize that you had or where you can really let go. Like, knowing what I, what happened with these people, I would not normally be okay with the proportions being as off as they were, but I muscled through it and then I was able to disguise it and be okay with it. So I think, you know, learning that about yourself can help you to push past barriers that you wouldn't normally push past without getting too frustrated. It helps, you know, it's helping me to just, you know, have a really fun, enjoyable experience, which is again where why I started doing. Oh, I forgot these little fluffy things. Hold on, I need some brown and white back on my brush. Um, which again is why I started um, painting. So this is brown and white. These are not looking like they do in the original painting, but just using the corner of my brush, giving myself this little fluff. Okay, kind of like a little horseshoey thing, I think. And again, just this is the first, I'll come back with white, but just to get this first um, part. <laughs> and again, just, you know, allowing yourself to, to, you know, have fun and make, make fun of your own self. That's, there's nothing wrong with that. That's, you know, part of growth. It's part of becoming confident. It's part of so many wonderful um, benefits that you can utilize to, to be a better human being, you know, just enjoying life in its, in its entirety. And if art making brings you those kind of um, awesome feelings, then, then do it, you know, and allow yourself the, the pass to be free and, and not perfect. And then I'm just going to add these. Oh, I get to sign it too with, oh, I can't do these. I get to sign it too with my non-dominant hand. That's going to be fun. Okay, so that's one. Here's my second one. Okay, here's my third one. Well, this is fun. These little guys are turning out to be fun. They weren't fun initially. <laughs> and then like that. Okay, so I think I got everything. 
I, I, the best I can do, I'm going to sign it now. I'm using my small round and I think I'm going, ooh, I'm going to go with some, some black paint and I'm going bottom left. Okay, let's sign my hand, <laughs> sign my initials. Let's see, M, M, oh, that doesn't look like my normal M, and I, and then we cross it over here, and then we do this. All right, well, that's going to conclude this painting. I hope you enjoyed the process. I hope you can be inspired to kind of be creative outside of your normal creative box and I always look forward to painting with you again sometime. Bye!